My sister is the cheerleading coach at McCracken County High School and my niece is on the cheerleading team and their co-ed cheer team knows what's up. I'm so excited to watch them tonight. Hopefully they'll do fantastic and bring home their seventh national title. If you know anything about the world of high school cheerleading, then you know exactly what this white jacket represents and I'm holding two of them. These belong to my daughter, Kendall. My daughter is a two-time national cheerleading champion. My sister is the cheerleading coach, and today is the National High School Cheerleading Championship. And I'm gonna take you along for the ride because this is a really big day in our house, in our family, because even though my daughter has graduated from high school and hung up her cheer jackets, Tonight is the final round of the national championship competition and I'm headed over to my parents' house. We're gonna live stream it on the television and cheer on my sister and my niece. So even though my daughter's grown up, she's now graduated from college, my sister is still the cheerleading coach and my niece is on the team and she is one of their main flyers. So if you don't know anything about the world of co-ed cheerleading, let me give you just a little bit of background so when you're watching the competition with me tonight, you kind of understand what you're looking at. Co-ed cheerleading means there's guys and girls and they are judged by lots of things in their competition routine. That routine has to be two and a half minutes it's long and they have to meet certain skill requirements, certain stunt requirements. Everybody at the competition starts off with the perfect score of 100 and then every time you make a mistake, that score gets deducted. So the interesting thing about cheerleading is you can't come from behind and win. All you can do is hope that your competitor has more deductions than you do. But in co-ed cheerleading, it's all about the stunting the level of difficulty, the types of stunts. Are your stunts better than everybody else? You have a cheer portion of the routine. You have tumbling, you have jumps, you know, your basic cheerleading things, but it all comes down to precision and difficulty. Those are the two key terms. And under my sister's reign as the co-ed cheerleading coach, her school has won six state championships and six national championships. And tonight they are going for their seventh national championship win. And when you win a national championship, you get the coveted white jacket. Everybody wants a white jacket. You ask any girl who is a cheerleader, hey, what is that white jacket thing? And they will know exactly what you're talking about. My sister's school is in the medium co-ed division. They had a semifinal competition yesterday. I went over to my parents. It was just my dad there. They breezed through semifinals and advanced to the final round, which is tonight. Now, I'll give you a little insider information. They were first coming out of semifinals. That means nothing though, literally nothing. The scores are wiped clean and nine medium co-ed teams advance to the finals round, which is tonight. And we are gonna be in front of the television. I have talked to my sister twice already today, several times yesterday. I've been texting with my niece. Y'all, I gotta brag on my niece. She kicked booty yesterday literally kicked booty. So proud of her. I'm hoping they kill it tonight and come out of there with a 2023 white nationals champion jacket and a champion's ring. Yes, we have two of these in our house, two state champion rings and two national champion rings. They're in my daughter's jewelry box. Her jackets are kept in her closet for safekeeping and I cannot wait to watch my niece hopefully come home with one of these tonight. So I'm at my parents' house. We have the competition live streamed on the TV. My tripod's set up. My sister's already texting me. I'm the note taker because I know cheerleading and my sister is there. She is back in, it's called the tunnel. Come on, y'all. Let's go, folks. She cannot see any of the other teams. She cannot see her competition. So I have all my notes, my pen, my paper. I'm ready. I'm going to watch everything live, take notes, and 
if she needs to know something, she'll text me. As soon as she gets off the floor, they go back into the room so she can't see the teams even that go after her. So she'll contact me if she needs to, to know what happened. Did anybody have a drop? Who did what? I gotta be on my game, y'all. It's pressure here. Cheerleading streaming in the living room and we got basketball going in the kitchen. So it's all sports over here, all sports, all the things. It's a big night. Let me show y'all this. My parents live on the Tennessee River and look at this, the sun setting. I was on my way over here and Kendall called me in the car. She asked me what I was doing tonight and I told her, I said, it's nationals. And she said, oh my gosh, I remember every second of everything. And I'm sure she does. Like it is ingrained in your in your head when you've been a cheerleader and you've been to nationals and you've won two national championships. You never forget it. And now moving back to our medium co-ed finals from Paducah, Kentucky. Let's hear it for the Mustangs at McCracken County High School. Riley Square. Riley's in the back stunt. So all the teams have gone. It's between McCracken, which is my sister's team, and one other school. Lots of other teams were great teams, but they had drops, major drops, falls, girls putting their hand down on tumbling. Um, that's not going to win you a national championship. However, McCracken had a drop. So it's really going to come down to McCracken and the other team who had the highest difficulty level, who was the cleanest, and, you know, it's a, it's in the hands of the judges. It is subjective. I'm texting my sister. She needed my notes. I let her know what I saw, and now we wait. But I think definitely McCracken will be top two. It just comes down to how the judges score the drop. Medium co-ed, top five, from Mississippi, fifth place, Saltillo High School. In fourth place, from Downey, California, Downey High School. Okay, get serious here. This is a deep division. This was a fun division to watch, and it's close here at the top. Well, I think it's time to reveal our top three teams. Here we go. Third place, medium co-ed. From Smyrna, Tennessee, <gasps> Stewart's oh, Creek okay. High School. Come on, Valley. Okay. That means we got first or second. Oh, man, oh, man. And now, it is time for our top two teams. In second place. Come on. From New Orleans, Louisiana. <laughs>
So I'm finally home for my parents and y'all, my sister won her seventh national championship and my niece Briley is now the proud owner of a white jacket. It was a great night. Oh my goodness. If you don't understand cheerleading, I know it's really hard to look at a team and know what's going on. Basically, it came down to two teams, McCracken and another school from Louisiana. It was neck and neck. And when they were doing the awards, you could hear, of course, in the background, you could hear me, you could hear my mom and my dad and Randy were screaming and yelling. And when they said second place belonged to a school in Louisiana, we knew we had it. Such a great night, such a great competition. And it's funny because I was leaving and I said to my mom, now you have a daughter and two granddaughters with national championship jackets. How does that feel? This video was all to say how proud I am of my sister and my niece. And now we have yet another national championship title to list under the family name. McCracken won. Go Mustangs!